Hi again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire in the Oyster Rooms, uh, my favourite pub, uh, Lloyd's Bar, uh, Weatherspoon's pub in Fulham Broadway, uh, about to read my uh, latest poem, uh, written in the early hours of this morning, uh, it's called Judgment Day. It's so obscene how they eat the plump oysters and pocket all the pills that they sit there so high up on their self-proclaimed pedestals, downwardly surveying all they have embezzled, used and abused in judgment. And even more obscene, after skimming the rich cream, they get to pick the best fruit, for they are always first to the table, first to bite, taste the succulents of flesh, then quick to um, condemn us all to a life of humble gratitude, as we are left to pick the bones, scavengers to their justice, and how cunning they are to dangle the carrots of opportunity to any discontent, appeal to the lust of greed, just enough to suppress the coming riots, avoid the long overdue revolution. They think us fools. They even dare to mock us, as they rule from those high pedestals, judge our incompetence, attributing blame, pour scorn over our lazy awkwardness and our inability to rise above poverty, whilst pushing our heads firmly into the mud, the mire where they have never dwelt, never will, and never wish to dwell. That's what they think. They say, though, that every dog will have its day, and when the bones are all picked clean, I ask, what will we feed on then? When dawn comes and we realize we are mere cannon fodder, serfs, but of a modern age, with no more rights now than the serfs of long ago, stripped bare with less freedom, better be to be shot than strangled slowly, eh? They sit aloof in the arrogance of belief that it can never end, that a trained dog will always obey, not realizing that out of view, between the lines, in the eaves, within the shadows, I hear the whispers of rebellion. The dogs are chewing quietly, toppling pedestals, and come that day, who will judge the judges on their judgment but the angry mob?